though. Are you ready for your 73 questions? Definitely. Who are you? Hi guys, my name is Fien and nice to meet you guys. Where are you from, Fien? I am a Nigerian. I'm from Cambridge in the UK. Where are we now? We are my apartment in Liverpool. So is this accommodation provided by the uni? No, actually, it's a private accommodation and it's like an apartment complex, so thumbs up. What is it like living in private accommodation? Uh, it actually depends on your personality. I'm more of a person that is like, love my space and stuff. So it's, it's amazing. It's independent. So like, if you're not that person that is independent or wants to live with other people, just go for uni accommodation. It's very fun. I will tell you, it's not fun living alone. Yeah. How can you find private accommodation in Liverpool? Just search on Google. I did mine by searching on Google. I searched um, private accommodation in, Google, uh, in Liverpool on Google and I found this one. It was the first one actually. Right, that's really good. Right, so where are we going now? We're actually going to the University of Liverpool to show you guys around the campus and have a little tour for you guys. So how far is it from where we are currently? It's about 22 minutes depending on if you walk slow. So depending on how you walk actually. Right. So that's not bad then? No. So where are we now again in Liverpool? So we're just two minutes walk away from my accommodation and there's a world museum like two minutes away from my accommodation. How lucky is that? And then there's an art gallery next to the world museum. So like superb i've been there twice so that's really cool you can just like leave your accommodation and just explore the city also yes there's a central library next to the world museum oh a lot so of like, things to do places to visit yes. <laughs> it's got the world museum next to the library and next to the art gallery so i use the library instead of the uni library so it's amazing so you've got uni library you've got the word library or the word word museum word museum also so many things to do and i also see a market very close actually so what is going on around here so it's a christmas market actually just opened two days ago i've not been there but it's really exciting because there's shops there are fun slides there is a ferris wheel so i want to show you guys let's go yeah let's go there it's a very nice library like if you enter yeah Right, so now we're at the Christmas market and yes. obviously you can see it and it's look, it looks really nice and we just walk across it and yes. see what it looks like, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. I'm excited because I've not been here since it opened and I live two minutes away from it. So <laughs> I'm excited that we're here finally. And today's a very beautiful day, like it's so it is, sunny also. Yes, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. I'm so excited. I also noticed that like there's a few other universities apart from Uni of Liverpool in Liverpool. So how many unis do you have here? There's about four of them. There's um, Liverpool, obviously, University of Liverpool. Yeah. There's John Moores and there's Liverpool Ope. And there's other one for like doctors, like medicine and stuff. Oh, so you've got a, a range of choices to choose from? That's why it's called Student City and there's loads of students in this city. Oh, that is really cool. It looks like we're at the University of Liverpool. Yes, finally. So that's the first building that you see when you like come through Liverpool. And then after that building is the red brick, the famous red brick for why Liverpool is famous. Oh, right. Interesting. And it's so pretty. Oh, we'll huh? see once we get closer to it. Yeah, we're going to get closer soon. So what are you taking us now? We're going to the rooftop of a cathedral just near the university of Liverpool. I just wanted to show you guys the view from the rooftop. Yeah, because we see people standing there, so let's see what it looks like also. Yes. And you can really see the red brick farm there, like actually. Oh, see, it's so pretty. I've been here once. <laughs> oh, this is really nice. Yes, it's so spacious. Like, I don't know what you can necessarily do here apart from look at the views. But it's Ooh, this is beautiful. It is. I feel like people can do anything here, eat, come with their boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> I've just been here to see what is going on here because I saw loads of people there. Got to the view. Oh. Ooh, this is really pretty, isn't it? It is. 
So just like after a long day from uni, you can just come yeah, here just to just up, relax a little bit before you go back. Let's go to the red room. Okay, thank you. Let's go. <laughs> Show us around your uni. Definitely. I'm taking you guys on a tour. <laughs> uh, we're nearer to the red brick building and that's it over there. I mean, I've not seen where you can get a very good view from, but like, I need to find now because people say that there are places you can get view of the red brick. Yeah. But I haven't seen. But it looks so good from like this. Yeah, it does. And it's a very beautiful day today, you know. Yes, it is. Especially when the sun shines in it. It's like, instead of red, it goes to like wine. It's just, I don't know why. <laughs> right, so where are we now? So we finally got into like the center of University of Liverpool. There's like builders around. There's the library, the red brick. Library, um, the Red Brick building, like I said, the Cairo Studio, and the Liverpool Guild of S Students, which is really popular. So instead of a student union society or building, we call it the Guild of Student in Liverpool. Oh, that is interesting because at my uni, we used to call it the Student Union. So, yes, I feel like Liverpool is the only one that's called like Liverpool Guild of Students. So, which year are you in? So, I'm um, in my first year, I just came in like two months ago. What course do you study? I study communications and media when I get in the industry, so I've got placement here. So that is really cool because with placement you can get experience as yes. part of your course, which is really great, like yes, for yes, working. Yes. And the thing about communication and media as well is like it's a very broad field. So yeah. like there's journalism, there's film, there's so many things. So that placement, you, yeah, it just gives you an opportunity to try an industry that you love. That is really really good. Yes. So um, what is the typical class size for? communications media and communications um right now they said this year is the largest year they've ever seen so it's like in my class i've seen 60 people yeah. for the workshop and the seminar is always like 30 people because no one likes to bore you. let's get into the field of students it looks really beautiful yes i get lost here so many times so what was the entry requirement of your course? So it was A levels um, A, A, B. So like, you need to get A, A, B. But the thing for me, I did a diploma oh, right. and they said it wanted like, like D stars, D star, D star. Do you want to sit? Yeah, we can sit for a bit. So is the University of Liverpool lenient to the entry requirement? Yes, it is very lenient, like very, very. <laughs> um, and how are you finding your first year of uni? Um, not bad. I feel like I've just known that there's loads of stealth study. Yeah. It's different from college, so you have to actually study or else you don't know anything. It is not that bad, to be honest. I love living alone and doing my own thing, but this, you have to remember that you're here to study, and when you remember that, like, it's actually crazy. <laughs> and why did you choose Liverpool? Why did you not choose to go to London or to Oxford or Cambridge that you're from? Why Liverpool? Uh, because of the course. Like Liverpool had one of the best teaching for the course, communication and media. So that's why I chose Liverpool. That is really good to know. And do you have a favourite module or lecturer yet? Yes, I do actually. Um, so my favourite module, actually I'm doing two modules at this point. And my favourite module is called Media Industries and Institution and the other one is called Introduction to Communication and Media and my favourite lecturer actually is in the second module that I don't like because right. it explains it better than the rest. And how many days do you have lectures and seminars? Just one day a week on Mondays. I have two hours of workshop and two hours of seminar. Oh, that is really good. So you have a lot of time to do other things? No, not really actually. On Thursdays we get lecture videos and we have to watch it so it's like four hours. You have to watch it before your class on Monday and do like loads of readings. It's about 10 readings a week. That is a lot of reading to do. <laughs> yes, it is a lot of reading. So do you have access to essential learning resources? Oh, it's locked. Yes, we do have libraries and in the libraries we have databases and there are like learning support offices that you can go and meet if you need any other things apart from that. And so do you have extra time to do other extracurricular activities? Definitely, if you know how to balance your time and then you know your priorities, yes. Are there any places to eat on campus? Yes, we're at Starbucks. Oh. It is in the student 
built so like you can come here when you're studying or you meet up with a friend on like a coffee date and anything i've not been there because that was expensive but <laughs> yes. and there's a shop that is close because today it's so nice all right okay and are you a member of any society yes i am actually i'm thinking of starting my own society i already sent the idea to the guilds leaders and yes i'm getting approved soon i'm a member okay. of the drum society film society pole dance society and some other societies that we've forgotten about literally oh that is that is a lot of societies yes and even i'm the backstage manager for the drama society so you're getting really active at uni then yes it's good to get active because you're not coming here just to study alone you need to get the old opportunity you need to get involved with the whole unit experience right so apart from extracurricular activities that you do do you work part-time yes i do i joined a hospitality recruitment agency so i do like shift for like the days that i'm very not working for uni and then now i'm going to start working for like m and s and i'm also a career for just it i know that's so much work and i also do my content creation on youtube and instagram so you follow me if you want to well, that is really good so definitely do follow on our youtube definitely. subscribe to our youtube channel how many campuses does university of liverpool have we have one campus this is the main campus and there's another campus in rural is the veterinary science campus has covid affected your studies in any way no, I came after COVID, but I think because of the lecture videos, normally I'm meant to have lectures like in person, but now they're making lecture videos, which is not that bad actually, because I have a seminar and a workshop. Are there any places to visit in Liverpool? Yes, there is loads. I already told you guys about the World Museum, art exhibitions, there's the art gallery as well, if you're very interested in art stuff, like myself. There are loads of theatres, cinemas, um, there are shops as well, there's loads of shops bottomless brunches, clubs if you're into that. So many things to do. Crazy, like I can't even say enough. And are there any GP clinics or hospitals close to the University of Liverpool? Uh, yes, actually I am registered to one that is closer to my building because my building is closer to John Moore's than any of Liverpool, but there are loads of GPs close to UL. So is the University of Liverpool a diverse university? Absolutely. I mean, if you're talking about diverse in like loads of black people um yes but you guys have to also remember that we're the minority in this country <laughs> but there it is diverse there's loads of asians blacks white and there is the acs society that i'm part of as well which is the afro-caribbean society where you can meet a lot of black people and if you're very worried about that i'm friends with loads of black people like 80 percent of my friends are black so you have no problem so there's someone for someone there's someone for everyone everyone is included in all things around I mean, yes university. absolutely it's so diverse did you apply to other universities yes i did i applied to leeds um leicester loughborough and um DMU, which is in Leicester as well, because I needed to choose something that was low choice. Yeah. If I didn't get into the high choices as well as I chose. So if you could choose again, would you still choose Liverpool? Yes, 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 I would choose Liverpool. So what is your favourite thing about the University of Liverpool? It's very inclusive. You know when you come to uni and you feel like you don't belong? It doesn't happen in Liverpool because I feel like you belong everywhere. And that was a really major thing for me because I always feel like I don't belong. So that wasn't the case in Liverpool. So you feel at home at this university, basically? Yes, and everyone is friendly. I did not expect it to be this good, to be honest. That's really good to know. And is there anything you dislike about the University of Liverpool? Um, dislike is a strong word, and I've not been here enough to actually pick on things, but I think it would just be the fact that, why do I have to study so much? Well, you came to university <laughs> to study. But I came to uni to study. So yeah, that's basically no reason. Okay. So what song, if any, would accurately describe your experience so far at the University of Liverpool? It would be gratitude. I'm just really grateful for everything because it, it kind of is like a miracle for me coming to uni this year. And now that I'm here, I actually enjoy it. I've met some amazing, really nice people. Um, so I'm just grateful. I'm chilling. That is really good. Right. So did anything surprise you about the University of Liverpool? Surprise me, yes. I did not think it was going to be this good. Like, I expected the worst, worst. Okay. The worst, worst? Yes. <laughs> but you've been pleasantly surprised, haven't you? Absolutely. Yes. 
And do you have a lot of friends at uni? Not a lot of friends. But I feel like when you come to uni, you meet a lot of people, which are your acquaintances. But I have like about two, three friends that I know that are actually friends since I came to uni. So where are we now, actually? So we're at a building at the School of Architecture. I don't use it. So do you have your own ride or die on campus, like a friend that you literally can't do without? I'm always on campus or alone. I feel like I'm alone now when I'm on campus. But I have a friend that is in my course that I get along with. So we kind of go to class together. Want to say shout out together. to your friend? Shout out to you, Lizzie. <laughs> Hello, Lizzie. <laughs> Hi, Lizzie. You miss home sometimes? Yes, yes, absolutely. I miss my siblings so much. But I mean, it's almost Christmas anyway, so I'm looking forward to that. So do you experience any FOMO at the University of Liverpool? Do you know I actually didn't know the meaning of FOMO until yesterday? <laughs> because I never fear missing out because I feel like you only fear when you're missing out when you don't actually know yourself and you don't enjoy your time. I kind of value my time a lot. So. Oh, I almost ate that pole. <laughs> <laughs> what is the typical outfit on campus? It's, I feel like it's the normal UK outfit. It's like joggers, a crop top and a jacket. <laughs> That's the go-to for most one. people. Because go it's very comfortable. Like, yeah. I mean, I love fashion, but I love comfort. <laughs> Absolutely. Comfort. And how many libraries are at the University of Liverpool? Actually, we're just close to one of the libraries. It's just the library that I use. It's called Sydney Jones Library. It's for yeah. social science and art and humanities. There's the Arrowed Cohen Library. I don't know what that one is for, but I think it's mostly science. And there's one other one. I don't know the name because I've never used it and I've never been there. But I use the Central Library, like I told you guys earlier, because it's two minutes away from my home anyways. So you're going to show us the library then? Uh, it's over that way if you guys want to see. Oh yeah, that would be really good. Good! So is the library open 24-7? Yes, it is. And we're finally here. This is it. Free. And what is the best thing about the University of Liverpool Library? Um, everybody's serious. Like, you can't actually go to the library and get all your work done. Because you see other people getting their work done, so it serves as a motivation for myself. That's why I love going to the library. Yeah, better than studying at home, I guess. Yeah, because at home you feel like more comfortable. You could just lay on the bed and that's it. So, can we go in, do you think? Yes, we could just show a bit. We don't have to talk. So, are you sometimes sleep deprived? Um, that is if I want to. That's when I go on the bed and watch TV. Mm. <laughs> so what is the best thing for balancing work, life, study whilst at university um, in Liverpool? Honestly, personally, I don't think that you can balance it. I think you just have to choose your priorities. Like, what is the one that is meant to be at the top? And then the rest follows, then you can balance what's below your priority. And what is your advice for anyone considering the University of Liverpool? Come, it's very nice. Just Everyone come, just apply. Yeah. here. <laughs> you have a friend in Fee. You have a friend in me. Come to Liverpool. I'll show you around. And are there any bike or parking spaces on campus? Yes. In front of every building, there's um a bike parking stuff where you can lock your bike. Obviously, you have to lock your bike. I don't ride anything. I don't even cycle here because it's a big city and I don't want to die. But cars, I don't know about that because I don't drive. Okay. And so you definitely don't know if on-campus parking is free? Um, I have a friend that drives, but she doesn't drive into campus. She drives like to somewhere that she parks a car, okay. but she pays for it and then she walks to campus. So I don't know if that helps. And what is faith and religion like on campus? It's diverse. You find everyone doing everything. I'm a Christian. You find a Muslim, you find Buddhist, you find... Diverse. I feel like it's beautiful, kind of. So, and bad. does you does the University of Liverpool provide any faith facilities? Yes, there's a prayer room in the library. There are prayer rooms in the library, and there are societies that you can join as a Muslim, Christian, or other religions. Even though I've not seen other ones, just Christian and Muslim sites. So, do you attend any church? Yes, I do. I go to Ilson, Liverpool. I'm a really friendly church. You should try it out if you're in Liverpool and looking for a church. You should definitely come. Yeah, so go to Ilsung and experience what it's like. 
as far as God. What is the night life like in Liverpool? I'm not the night owl kind of person, but there are loads of clubs, like I said before, and restaurants are open in the night. And the nightlife is amazing, actually. Freshers' week was superb when he was, like, when it comes to night life and stuff. So. Okay, fill in the blank. If you had known Dash about Liverpool, would you still have chosen the University of Liverpool? If I had known, honestly, no. I can't even think of anyone at the moment. Like, I can't think of anyone at the moment. Okay. If I had known, hmm, that would be hard. I mean, if I know that the course is so much like reading, reading, reading. I love reading, but like historical based. I might have not. I don't know. I would choose Liverpool actually. You would still choose. I feel like I just you. started, and instead of me judging the course based on like two months of it, it's just very unrealistic. So I will update you guys and let you know. And does you does the University of Liverpool provide any financial support for students? Oh yes, 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 they do. Especially if um, I know about like scholarships and grants, bursaries and stuff, but I've never actually gone deep into it because I don't think I qualify for that. Yeah. So what is the career service like at the University of Liverpool? Actually, we're almost at the career studio. Surprisingly, okay. it's um, it's good. Like especially, I don't know first year because I've not actually gone into looking for career opportunities yet. So what have I studied? But I'm just thinking. Of going like second, third year since I'm doing a placement here, so I would definitely be near it. I'm but looking. the facility is there for students. There to is, a, yeah, there is absolutely. Did you struggle with anything when you first arrived at the University of Liverpool? Oh yes, the city is so big. I feel like I almost got lost like so many times, and I'm a bad map prudder, so I kind of almost I, yeah, I got lost. I can't even lie, I did get lost, and I struggled. Um, kind of settling in because i didn't I, I was really i was really happy like two days into i was like oh my god i'm living alone but then settling in and the sense that i had to do neat things it's like moving in a new into a new home yeah that i've never moved before so it was kind of hard yes. and how did you manage this i did it all by myself and by the grace of god who is the university of liverpool's most famous alumna i don't have a clue I'm not really an historical based person. Like, I don't know, it's so bad, but I actually don't. That, that is fine. It's fine not to know some things. Yeah. You can also come here to find out by yourself, apply to the University of Liverpool, and then you can learn more about the university too. Absolutely, yes. What type of music do you listen to? Um, I'm a rap person, hip hop and rap. I'm an hip hop and rap person. I feel like people say that's for black people. But yes, I'm one of those black people. I don't have like one genre, because I listen to all the genre. I'm a gospel kind of person as well. I listen to praise and worship. So it's everything all rounder, except for classics. I find them boring. What is your special talent, if any? I have different talents, but I don't have something that is special. Maybe I've just I, I've just not found a hit. Okay, guys, I can braid Edo myself, and I can braid every people. So if you're in Liverpool looking for like a braider or someone, you know, to, to call. Yeah. So if you want to braid your hair, definitely contact me, and maybe she'll be able to help you. Yes, sir. When is karaoke night? Um, I don't know, but I was thinking of hosting one actually. Like I hosted one two weeks ago, but we cancelled it because there was another party that night, and I just didn't want to be the party pooper. Yeah, definitely can't be that person. No. <laughs> uh, how far are we from the station from the University of Liverpool? How far the is the station? station? We're twenty, um, like about fifteen minutes. So it's very close, like to just. Clean no, yeah, it's actually really clean. close, and it's closer from where I live as well. It's five minutes walk from where I live, hmm. so like it's kind of in the middle. Do you see or hear the Beatles anywhere? Yes, in the Albert's Dock, there is the like Beatles statue, and there's a Beatles, Beatles. <laughs> there's a Beatles restaurant next to it where you play the songs and sell food. So hmm. yeah, but I'm not a fan. <laughs> I don't know why. Have you learned any cow slang yet? No, I haven't. Even I'm still bad at the black British slang, so like, wagwan. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Have you been to watch football yet? No, I'm not a crazy football fan. I would watch it, but I find it boring as well. I mean, we've been walking around the university for so long, so it is, it is a very large campus, it seems like. It is a large campus. 
even though it just is a main campus with different building it's large so is liverpool a very busy city like london for example or cambridge compare uh, liverpool to cambridge what would you say it's not that busy today is sunday obviously i couldn't show you guys a typical liverpool day but it's not that busy like london or like cambridge i feel like because there's so much space so you're not like packed together and other people are going to different buildings i think that's why and is liverpool a safe city um i feel like um yes it is safe but i don't even know how to say it but like you know the sparking stuff going on i feel like that one has made it even scary for me because why are people getting spiked and why people don't even remember what happened to them last night so it is safe but you have to also be careful wherever you go and any last words for anyone watching this about liverpool about the university about living here and coming here i feel like liverpool welcomes you so if you decide to choose go to liverpool just let me know or something and definitely come to liverpool especially but i want you guys to do your research because i did my research as well so you have to do your research on the course and how it's beneficial to you because i don't just want to say come and then you'll not like it so just do your research guys that's my own advice and thank you for today um thank you guys so much <laughs> thank you and see you guys later and thank you for showing me around also <laughs> right so, how have you enjoyed interviewing me so far? I mean, I've really enjoyed it all. Like, compared to my own university, like, this is a very large uni. Like, there's so much to see around like this. It's really large and there's so much open space, which I really like also. So, I've really enjoyed it all. And this is a very nice uni. I mean, I did apply to University of Liverpool also, but I didn't come here. So, definitely, if you're considering Liverpool, I think it's a good place to come to. So, and that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Until then, bye!